Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Raider Roast, my rig. I'm your host, Fluff, and if you have a rig that you would like to submit for rating and or roasting, feel free to uh, head on over to the link down below in the description. And while you're there, head on over to the website and grab a free course or logic recording template or free Kemper profiles. And with that, let's jump into it, shall we? <laughs> oh, okay. I know, I know what kind of guy you are. You are, you like, you like nasty riffs, clearly by the 5150, or at least nasty tones. Anyway, um, I don't know about your riffs. However, there, that's a lot of Star Wars going on on the wall. <laughs> and it looks like it's from all from the original trilogy. Oh, no, I see a, a Darth Maul. So that's not correct. But mostly, predominantly, these are OG um, action figures from the original trilogy. And you have JHS pedals. Okay, so you're you're a straight up nerd. You're a collector and you're a nerd. I back it, but I find those types of players annoying. Did you know C3PO is uh, short for Cyborg 3 Protocol? Took me a second to remember that joke, but um, and that also is true. Go ahead and uh, check me on that, nerds. Um, your rig is pretty good. I love the sparkle finish of the uh, the aqua turquoise Ibanez guy. Um, overall, uh, this entire rig is messy and it kind of stresses me out, but I also like looking at it. So I don't know, that's like a weird passive aggressive rating. Uh, your pedal board is tidy. Your cable management is atrocious. And uh, you know, it's a lot of action figures, a lot of action figures. I'm sure they rattle with the volumes that you play with that 5150. However, I'm gonna have to give you a rig three and a half out of five beards. Oh. This is too happy. I already don't like this place. It's an interesting dichotomy because when you walk into this room, this is clearly, I think, a studio, Strider Studios. Um, thank you for submitting, by the way. Um, you have a lot of choice gear. It's a cool little control room, tracking room. Uh, but your loud ass colors, I'm just like, it reminds, so the orange and the green remind me of, uh, you know, those canned vegetables where you have like cut up carrots and peas thrown against my career is house or something. I imagine my career from MXPX, his house is probably painted this color because that's what color his base is. That's why I associate that color with my career. Um, interesting color choice. Way too happy for me because you have like ends and poster uh, and an H2O poster and an it, it, it Ignite poster. Uh, was that an Avail? Old school Avail? Bouncing Souls? I back all these bands. All these bands are super sick. Love the music. Love the gear. You got a couple of Marshalls. You got JCM 900. You got JCM 2000. I was literally just looking at those. I kind of want one. Um, awesome. Awesome setup, awesome rig. I can't do the super happy uh, studio vibes though. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I want to do it. I can't do it. It makes me makes me uncomfortable like I'm at a family gathering and I have to talk to my grandmother for more than five minutes. That kind of vibe. I don't know. I can't do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this rig three out of five beards. <laughs> right away, I love your rug. Whoever you are. Love your rug. Uh, you have that uh, that digital diesel boy. I can't remember what that's called. The, the I can't make it out in the photo. You guys are going to let me know in the comments, I'm sure. Uh, that digital boy, which is cool. Then you have the Kemper 4 model. You have a couple of nice guitars. I love the color on your PRS. And then you have some blank, <laughs> blank art things on each side of your cabinet. Hey, man. Uh, <laughs> why are those blank? Well, I like to, I like to paint... I like to paint a picture with my playing. I like to, I like to just paint with a wide sonic brush. You know, I like to let the picture paint for itself. It's probably what you say. That's how you sound too. Sorry. Got a cool telly, line six uh, FRFRs. Cool. Um, Ms. Boogie Vertical 212, big fan of that cabinet. Uh, I'm gonna give this rig four to five beards. <laughs> Here we go. This is a vibe. 
So you have a, uh, what is a Rings of Saturn banner up top. You have, uh, you have your little computer set up. You have a Helix down below. Love that. And you play a, uh, a headless Kiesel. So right away, I know that you either have impeccable GQ styled hair that is stunning at all times. Even when you wake up and come out for the first time in the morning, I'm your roommate, by the way, you come out and like your hair is perfect or your back and sides of your head are shaved, but you have really long hair and it's pulled in a ponytail in the back. And you like to wear really, really long sweaters. That's probably what you look like based on your guitar. I'm not knocking the guitar, I'm knocking you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, but your setup is pretty decent. Um, it's kind of uh, fantasy anime death metal with po more palm mutes than normal vibes, I guess. Nevertheless, um, I'm going to give this rig uh, two out of five beards. Sorry. <laughs> wow. That is, uh, boy, I thought the last one was a vibe. This is a vibe. Here's what's interesting about... <laughs> about this picture i'm like oh an orange a marshall uh, a gibson sg what is outside of this room what is happening out there are we in like a uh are we in a gentleman's club we have we have some red lights with some monkeys holding the lights we have a cheetah print carpet what's going on out there let's talk about you know what never mind the rig <laughs> what's happening out there where is this is this at the mustang ranch don't Google that. Uh, is this at like a, uh, is this in Amsterdam? This is Am Amsterdam, isn't it? What is happening out there? <laughs> Your rig is cool. Um, you have, you have a couple of, of, of nice guitars. I like them. I like the vibe. Um, I like the pink thin line. The Marshall's cool. Uh, the little oranges are cool. Pedal boards are tidy. Everything is tidy as hell in this picture. However, where are you? <laughs> hmm. Well, I'll just leave it there. This is a G-rated show. PG-rated show. Nevertheless, I'm going to give you rig. I'm still going to give you rig. I don't know. It's nothing crazy. It's uh, I'm going to give it three out of five beards. And last but not least, <laughs> I've seen I've seen this photo before. This is um, I don't know. This is the most. Tell me, tell me you're into Doom without actually telling me you're into Doom. Here we go. A whole bunch of P PV Rage 158 amplifiers. I had six of these strung up together when I was a kid in order to keep up with our drummer when I was in my high school band. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is the nastiest thing I've seen in quite a while. Um, I bet it sounds atrocious and I bet it's awesome. And you don't need no, uh, you don't need no metal zone. You don't need no uh, heavy HM2 heavy metal either. You have, you have the PB, uh, PB rages. This is awesome. Real talk. This is pretty cool. Send video clips, please. I want to hear this thing. Do they all work at the same time? Can you can you use like a splitter and plug them into all of them at the same time? Or is this just a backdrop for a band? I want to know. Nevertheless, I, I have to give this rig five out of five beards. And that does it for this episode of Rate a Roast of My Rig. If you have your own rig that you would like to see rated and or roasted, feel free to send it to me down below in the description. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.